Welcome back, everyone. Now, we got a bit of a request here. The DMI reversals video was quite popular, so I got some questions about this DMI stochastic extreme. All right, now that's how we would use this in a conditional study. All right, now I would say that we need to test it as a strategy. Okay, so we need to make this into a strategy before we jump right into using those signals. And our declare lower will not be valid, and that's okay. Now go through here, and of course, we'll change everything over that is a plot to a define. We don't want to plot any of those things up on the Okay. Now we'll get rid of these. Not important. All right, now we've got part of our new strategy. Now, if you don't have a template, this is your chance to build one, okay? So we're gonna go over into our studies. Ah, uh, wrong. We're gonna go over into our strategies again. You're gonna type in D-O-N and go to your Donchian channels, all right? Come all the way down here, and this strategy has quite a few options that you can use, all right? I usually pull these four orders. And we'll paste them right in here. All right. Now we've got to assign some things. Specifically zeros. I'm not interested in looking at red this entire time. So we'll get rid of them until we fill them in. Okay. So you're by to open. All right. Now we're going to want this to be arrow up. Okay. So we're going to need to define that we want to call, you know, up and down. All right. So there's your plot up and down. All right, so we're going to define that. Define. And define. OK. Now, it does make all of this paint strategy stuff no longer valid. All right. That's fine. Makes it simple. All right. So now we'll put in here, we're going to do a define. All right. And what we want it to be is that our buy to open is equal to up. And we'll close that out. All right. And then your cell to close. And we want to hash mark this one out. Let's do another one. Your define down is going to be equal to, all right, and that's going to be sell to close. Well, buy to open. That'll be sell to close. That'll work.
Perfect. Okay, and our buy to close. We'll hash that out for now too. We'll hit apply. Now this is a long strategy. For the short strategy, you would put your you know buy to open as you know your sell to open. Okay, so short. And then your buy to close, you know, covering that position. All right. So let's go in here and change these names real quick so we know what they are when they show up. All right. Now that's your buy in. All right. And this is closing your position. All right, looks profitable. It does well in a decline. Okay. I like this strategy. Now, if we wanted to use this, and let's just check a report here. Not terrible, but it does have some losses. Overall, good winners. Nice, two thousand eh, dollars. A couple more trades than I would have liked to have taken, but you're still making five hundred dollars. Not terrible. I like it. Okay. So now, if we wanted to use this as your conditional buy order, okay. Now you have to come in. And do a buy, all right? You know, or buy custom, you know, and and we'll get to the, uh, the OCO bracket, stop limit, and the you know all that fancy stuff. But anyway, so you'll come in here and you'll click your buy, all right? You'll come up here. Now you will decide what that you know you want. If you want this order, that's perfectly fine. Um, and you have to come over here to your little gear icon. You have to edit your order, okay? And you'll come over here to your little gear icon, all right? And pull that up. And you'll get, you know, your order rules, all right? So what you're saying is that you want to buy 100 shares of Tesla at the limit price that you set. So you'll set your limit, you'll set your quantity. All right, and your time in force. Now, this is going to have to be a day order, okay? Now, put it in day. At least that's what I would suggest. Okay? And to click on symbol, pops right up. All right, method. You're going to want it to do, you know, you can do bid, ask, all right? But here, in this case, we're going to do study. We're going to hit edit. And we're going to tell it which study we want. And this applies for you know the same process for any of the studies that you wish to use. So you'll find your study. All right. And let's see, what do we have? We've got our DMI, stochastic extreme. All right. And our DMI reversals, the other ones you've built. OK. So you'll come to your stochastic extreme. Now, you want to know when up is true within one bars and you'll hit save all right now if it doesn't plot on the bottom make sure you click plot on the subgraph all right now you can zoom in here and see if you like where the action happens and if you're all about it then you hit okay and send it away and you are good to go all right that's it. Plain and simple. So, and canceling, you know, would be if you created an order and you wanted it to cancel, let's just say if it went above a certain price or triggered a certain other study signal. So keep that in mind. Short, sweet, simple, to the point. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.